the big racks. You talk about everything outside your control. Well, there's a lot inside your control. Don't cheat on pit road. No mistakes on pit road. Clear communication with your spotter. It's tough enough. Don't make it any tougher by making mistakes. Over 100,000 fans in attendance here at Talladega Super Speedway. It's race number two. He would have made a much more aggressive move to prevent that run coming from the outside lane. And his patience right now is getting, getting some help from that bottom line. Now he moves up into the high groove on the back straightaway. Pretty smart move there, but he can't really block that all day long. Here they come to the outside, side by side to the lead. Chastain with a little gap back to him, so his help's not there. He's got to be good for the bottom groove. Remember, this is the first time these cars have been on the racetrack in traffic. Yesterday they ran just qualifying laps, no practice whatsoever. Good job by Eric, kind of controlling this lead. Move back and forth in front of each line. What you want to do before, get that information from your spotter, pick it up in the mirror, and get in front of that line. Get the energy from that line to push you forward, help you maintain the speed in your car so you can lead this race. Jude, you mentioned spotters. They're above us, our broadcast position. And when they see these cars go down the back stretch, and even into turn three, they're three quarters of a mile away from them, trying to tell these drivers what to do and how much gap they have in between each other. Big push here, Chastain into the lead. He's going to stay in this outside line with the help to guide him there. Eric Jones, here comes the 10 back to the inside. Alvarola with little help from the five car. A lot of cars pushing pretty aggressively down that back stretch. Here comes the outside line again. Back and forth they go. The ebb and flow of Super Speedway Racing. That's how much Chastain was in front of the line. If you're back there in a fifth, sixth, seventh row, you're trying to learn which lane is going to be the best. Right now, you're just kind of sitting, waiting, trying to push the guy in front of you, trying to get your line with some momentum to move forward, but you're planning right now so you can apply it later in the race. I like Chastain's commitment to that top line. I think he's staying committed there because he also has his teammate Suarez back there in the third position of the second outside row in the purple 99 car. He's staying committed to the Chevrolet. He has lined up with him in that south side line. The 9 car back there as well. Four Chevrolets on the outside line working together. You know, somebody popped three wide on the, out, on the outside. Back in the back of this pack. You get some big, big runs. Being way back in this pack. Underneath that sort of big old parachute of, of air. Big, big draft. And it's it's so easy to want to take those runs because they're massive. What do you got to lose? Be right on the Xfinity Mobile can off the back bumper of Chastain. Here comes another push from the 43. It's going to blow. That's a big contact right there. Pretty aggressive push, but look, he puts a boat out front. They're both going to stay in this middle line, though. Is that surprising? I think they like the momentum they're able to create running this higher line. Challenging that bottom through to get, them, get together and work together to come back. Clear, so we'll stay here. I like that. Yeah. And you saw that big push from Eric Jones to Ross Chastain. You're seeing it again now. I talked to Ross this morning about how he feels about getting pushes. And he said, man, this car is so sketchy when you're being pushed. 
especially the Chevrolets, but it's a fine line. So you want to be pushed, but it's so easy to lose it. you got to figure out early what we can do, and you're seeing that right now from Chastain and uh, Eric Jones. While the Toyotas and Fords have a big fat bumper, it's probably about a foot tall, a lot of room, a lot of mass, and, and, and surface to push. The Chevrolet has a very tiny lip around the bottom of the, of the rear bumper. It's about an inch tall. That is the only surface that they will make contact with when pushing a Chevrolet. The car is entirely uncomfortable when being shoved by another car. They've made some gains since February in Daytona, but it's still not perfect. See the third lane on the outside. Not real sure what they're doing. They're being cautious and kind of working themselves to the back, or if they are trying to get that third lane working. So you can here with Bubba Wallace. I think we've got to look at the two guys that are there. We've got the 31 car right there, and Bubba Wallace as well. Two guys really look what they, what, what they got to lose. Get a fair try this and see how far we can go. We'll work together. Gonna have somebody join as well. Hemrick's gonna jump up there. Let's see what we do up here, guys. I think that's the mentality of third group. Better than sitting in line half throttle, waiting on these guys in front of you to do something. You're not gonna go anywhere doing that. And everybody in that outside line, their spot right now is talking to you. There's a third lane forming. We will keep you informed. They start making some momentum. You may need to jump in front of them to be the first car leading that outside line. Outside line trying to move. You're watching the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs from Talladega. Yellow Wood 500. 